Hey everybody, um, I wanted to do a blog post because I haven't done one in over a month and I thought with this topic I thought it might be better just to do kind of a quick video and just kind of talk everything through instead of taking the extra time to write out everything and take all these different pictures. I thought this would just be a much quicker and more efficient way to get through everything. So this past weekend I went to a local yard sale in my town. And I have not been to a yard sale since probably before the pandemic. So it's been a very long time. And I heard about this one. This guy posted some pictures online that looks like he has some intriguing stuff. Uh, so I went there. I actually got there later than he in intended to uh, stay there. It was only going to be from 8 to 2. I got there a little after 2. But he still had stuff uh, for sale. Plenty of stuff out there. So it's a good thing I got there when I did. And I didn't get a ton of stuff. I know a lot of people come back home with all sorts of things. So this is a very small amount of stuff. But I thought the quality of it was really cool. So I thought I'd share it with you now. The first thing I thought that I really liked was this Help Storybook featuring the Beatles. It came out in 1965, the same year the movie was released. And it's it's not in great shape. for a, But, you know, you'd expect that from a book that was published in 1965 and it's very thin but it's really cool you know it's a storybook of the help movie with pictures directly from the uh from the film and the text kind of you know goes through the whole plot of the movie and there's a lot of cool pictures to say in here you know i like the movie a lot it's a really fun movie if you haven't seen it and i'm a huge beatles fan you would know that if you read the blog for any uh, stretch of time so I thought this was a really cool novel find. And like I said, it's not in the best of shape, but again, it is you know, nearly 60 years old. So I was really glad to find this one. Uh, up next, and also music related, and this I was really happy to see. It is the two CD Monkeys Anthology. This was released by Rhino back in 1998. So this is a 25-year-old release. And I says, as I said, it's a to a disc CD with basically, you know, their greatest hits and then some, you know, their singles, album tracks, a couple of rarities. And this I was so thrilled to see. And the cool thing was, I actually looked in the box that this was in one time and didn't see it. I went back a second time about 10 minutes later, and this just caught my eye then, and I was really glad I went back into that box. I am a huge, huge Monkees fan, have been since I was a little kid. Still very much today, at the age of 48, and this was fantastic to see. Because even though, you know, I can listen to the Monkees on Spotify whenever I want to, but it's just really great to have this physical media. I can leave this in my car and listen to it there. And yes, I still have a car with a CD player. So I'll just leave it in there. I'll just leave it in the glove box. And whenever I need some uh, tunes, and if I can't find anything on the radio or on Spotify, I'll just pop this right in. Uh, I haven't listened to it yet. But the CDs don't seem to have any like major scratches or anything to be concerned about. The uh, booklet that comes with it is still intact and it's still in very good shape. Uh, has pictures and liner notes and everything. So this was a great find. I was really happy to see this. This will be forever coveted in my music collection. Um, next... A DVD of Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. I've had Episodes 1 and 2 on DVD since they were first released, you know, 20 plus years ago. But I've never had Revenge of the Sith on an official DVD release, so I have this now. Um, it's in full screen instead of widescreen, and the first two uh, prequels I have on widescreen. So there's a bit of a mismatch there, but hey, it still completes my collection. And it still has a second disc of uh, bonus features and everything that I don't think I'll see on Disney+. Plus. So I was really glad to find this. And I know what, the, what people consider the prequels to be. Yeah, they're not the movies we wanted. But, you know, there are good things to appreciate in every one of those movies. Yes, even Phantom Menace, I said it. So, again, I was happy to see this. And lastly... This is really the most esoteric stuff I have because, you know, all the things I just showed you, you know, you'll find people interested in beetles and monkeys and whatnot. What I have here are a series of uh, 
pins related to a local TV station here in Philly. It's a WPHL Channel 17, which is still on the air today. But uh, these pins are very much retro. These go back to definitely the 80s and probably, at least in one case, even the 70s. Uh, this was a you know, local UHF station here in the city, you know, largely independent, except for a time when they were part of the WB network, and uh, they, were, had, they were part of that My network that existed for half a minute. And, uh, you know, grew up watching all sorts of cartoons on Channel 17 when I was, when I was a kid, and, you know, off of syndication reruns, and uh, I like these pins because they have like the old, you know, 70s and 80s logos on them. They call themselves the Great Entertainer, which is they they used heavily in their ads back in the 70s and 80s. So it was really cool to see that. I have a couple of those that look like this. Uh, I don't quite get half the pin being white. I don't know if that was supposed to be like a name tag where you got a sharpie and write your name on there or what that was, but I have two different pins in that style. Uh, I also have this one that says Channel 17, the year of the independent, and judging by that uh, slogan and the red, white, and blue theme, I'm assuming this may have came out in 1976, the year of the bicentennial. I have to do research on that, but I saw that, I loved it, and I snapped it up. And there's even a button that isn't for Channel 17 specifically, but it is for the WB, and as I said, that was our local WB affiliate here uh, when the network launched in the 90s. It's got Michigan J. Frog on there, and it says Wednesday Night Comedies starting January 11th, 1995. So I know they only started out with a couple of nights airing just hour long dramas, so when they launched their comedy block that night, it was obviously a big deal for them. So I guess this is kind of commemorating that. So I thought that was cool. And I have in this Ziploc here, I don't know yet if this is a magnet or a sticker. But again, it's Channel 17 logo with also the logo of the Phillies, our uh, Major League Baseball affiliate here. And Channel 17 has aired their games off and on over the decades. And it also comes, I don't know if you can see it, this tiny little uh, lapel pin with the team logo on it. So that I thought was really cool. So as I said, it wasn't a big haul, but quality-wise, I'm really happy with what I got, especially since I haven't been to a yard sale in forever. So I thought all this stuff was really cool. I thought the, the people who follow me on social media would like to uh, take a look at it and get a kick out of it. And that's exactly what I hope you did. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, keep watching my blog. Keep following me on uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, what have you. And I'll see you later. Bye.